Sag, what's going on? It's your girl D here with 8th House Energy here to bring you another reading for February 2021. I hope all is well in the Sag community. You guys are amazing the way you support the channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, you know, we're going to have an extended, so the link's in the box below, and you know the rules. If it doesn't resonate, then, you know, just forget about it. Check your other placements. And if you don't know, I post for all placements every week. So click on that like button. If it resonates, click on the subscription button and then hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when your um, placements are being posted. Okay? Fresh content every week. So let's see what we got going on for you guys. Oh, the um, the February, what is it? It's called the February Astrological Analysis. Um, usually what I do for you guys is um, at the very beginning of the month, I will do a breakdown of the planetary alignments and how they may be affecting you and people around you. Well, I did that in a separate video this time around so that I don't have to say it every single video for the, for, you know, for the 12 videos I have to do. So I'm going to attach a link at the bottom, um, look in the description box below, look um, right at the first section where you'll see the extended link, you will see it says February 2021 Astrological Analysis. If you don't want to look there um, and you want to look for it in the playlist, it's going to be in the uh, 2021 playlist that's entitled um, Collective Readings or Readings for the Collective, okay? So check it out there as well, all right? Because I know some of you really like that. So I didn't want to leave that out. I left it out last month because I was just like overwhelmed. I'm like, damn, I got to stop doing this for every single sign for the first, you know, for the first month. Let me just do one recording and that's that. So there we go, all right? So let's see what we got going on for you guys. Now you got a lot of, um, you got a lot of planets in your third house here. Uh, you got Mercury there in retrograde, you got Venus there, you got Jupiter there, and you got Saturn there. Your third house deals with your environment, um, you know, basically where you grew up um, or people that you grew up with. So with Saturn um, and Mercury in retrograde there, uh, you could be uh, connecting with people from your past, people from your old hometown. Because when I think of third house, I think about your hometown. You know, third and fourth house combination to me is about your hometown where you grew up, you know, where you were raised. And then you got two planets in your sixth house, which is your house of work and find you know your house of work and health, which is um, Mars and Uranus. Okay, Mars and Uranus are there, and you got uh, Pisces in your fourth house, and then in your second house you got Pluto. Okay, so let's get these cards out here and see what we got going on for you. All right, so this first one that came out is the Three of Coin. I was just talking to you about work. Okay. What else do we got for Sag? What does they need? What do they need to know? What does Sagittarius need to know for this reading for this week? Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I need one more. One more for Sag. That's one too many. It was the Eight of Cups that wanted to pop out, but it just sat there. All right, we got the Five of Wands down there. So underneath the deck here, we got the Four of Cups in reverse. That's Cancer, Capricornian energy. No, it's Cancer. I was saying that right. I'm bugging. Four of Cups in reverse, Cancerian energy. This is energy of coming out of um, emotional torment, um, depression, okay? So to speak, not feeling well. It's not yet quite depression. The five of sword, five of cups is like depression. Four of cups is you slipping into that depressive situation here. Some of you um, may have needed to talk to someone, or you may have needed to talk to a friend, or a psychiatrist, or psychologist, or some type of professional. That could be the case. Not necessarily for everybody. Take what resonates. But I feel like whatever was going on really pushed you to the point where you know. You really wanted, you had to confide in someone or talk to someone about what it is that you were experiencing because it was so traumatic in nature. But I feel like you're coming out of that energy now, okay, which is good. So we got the three of coin here, the three of pentacles, which is Capricorn. All right, that's, yeah, like I said, you got uh, Pluto in Capricorn in your second house. Yeah, so that's where Capricorn is. And then we have um, the three of cups, which is Cancerian energy. Um, I 
Where's cancer for you? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cancer's your eighth house. Okay. So that's what we got there. We got the ace of wands in reverse. There it is upright. That's your energy. Okay. You, Sag, Leo, and um the the other hot fire we want, Aries. There we go. <laughs> and we got the chariot that came out in reverse here. That's Cancerian energy. So yeah, this has to do with hometown. Things happening when you were growing up. The Knight of Wands in reverse here, that's you. We got the Hermit energy, Major Arcana here. So this is the second Major Arcana. Uh, hermit energy, Virgo. That deals with Mercury. Mercury's in your third house in retrograde. We got the Page of Cups energy here. Okay, that's more Cancerian energy. We got the King of Wands in reverse. That's Leo. And we got the Four of Wands, Aries. And then finally here, the Five of Wands. So we got a lot of uh, fiery energy here. Five of Wands is Leo. So, for some of you, hmm, some of you want to reconcile with your partner. You want to work things out. Um, I feel like for some of you, you have been rejected by your partner. And you can't, you're not able to deal with that. Some of you, um, unfortunately, have the, um, you had the unfortunate uh, situation of finding out that you are married to a karmic partner. Or your partner, um, you know, found out that you were the karmic person in their life. That's not an easy thing to deal with. Because, um, you know, in the 3D realm, we're taught my husband, my wife, that's it. We're supposed to rock with each other until death do us part. And I feel like that's the energy where you're coming from. However, um, there's a rule, there are, there's a universal law, which prevails over 3D law. Universal law says, okay, you can call this person your husband, your wife, your child, your aunt, whatever you want to call them, that's fine. You know, because that's the, that's the language that's used in the 3D realm, as far as your relations and how you're related. But there is universal law, which supersedes that. And universal law says, you know, you can name these people what you want. You know, they're going to be put in your life to teach you a lesson. And once the lesson is done, the relationship will fall apart. For some of you, it's very difficult for you to understand that and accept that. All right. Um, and I've been getting that for you guys for the last year because a lot of you have been in this relationship for at least. Well, since I've been doing these readings, it's been about two years. A lot of you have still been and a lot of you are married. If you're not married, you're in a long term committed connection with someone who is serving as your karmic partner or you're serving as their karmic partner. Now, there's nothing wrong with a karmic. I, I, a lot of people get frustrated because it's like, well, I'm not a karmic. Everybody has been a karmic in someone's life at some point in time. A karmic simply means that you were put in this person's life to teach them a particular lesson about themselves. Once that lesson is learned, the relationship will fall apart. And this is what's going on with you guys. Your relationship is falling apart. Your partner has learned the lessons that they needed to learn being with you. Because that was the contract that you and your partner signed up with uh, before you both came here. You both knew each other from a past life. You both agreed, okay, I need to learn this lesson. This is what you need to learn. I'm going to play this role in your life. You're going to play this role in mine. And then once the lesson is done, we go our separate ways. The universe, that's how the universe sets it up. The universe doesn't care if you have children. The universe doesn't care how much time you spent together. The universe doesn't care that this person bought you a big fat ring. The universe doesn't care that you guys have investments together and you've had children together and you've been together 20 plus years. The universe does not care about that. The universe says this person was put into your life to teach you a lesson. Once the lesson is learned, the relationship ends. Meaning that no matter what you try to do to fix it, it will not work. So I feel like your partner or you, this could be your partner or you, the energies could be vice versa here, okay? Switch it as you need to. So don't be in the comments bugging out on me. I don't really want to hear that shit. Um, so switch it how it needs, okay? You may have realized that your partner was a karmic to you, or you or your partner may have realized you were karmic. I'm reading for you, so I'm telling you what I'm seeing here is that it's saying for some of you, okay, your you were the one who was teaching the lessons in this uh, partnership here, okay? And the uh, lessons have been learned because 
as a as a uh, planet, we are wrapping up karmic cycles. We're coming out of the age of Capricorn, and we're about to step into the age of Aquarius, effective airy season when everything starts over again because Pisces is the house where everything comes to full cycle so we're in Aquarius right now the season of Aquarius next season is Pisces Pisces is where every where the cycles that we went through with uh, the age of Capricorn the last decade all of these karmic cycles are coming to an end and so for a lot of you that is what's going on right now and it's hard for you to let go but what I get here with this four of cups is some of you are actually starting to understand that universal concept and it's a beast because you're not only dealing with this in reference to your relationship there are people who are dealing with this in re you know in reference to their parents their children their adult children karmic partners in their life so just imagine having to separate from your family member because the lessons have been learned and the, the more you two uh, communicate the worse things get there's no way of working it out because that's what the person's job is, is to come at you in this way. Their job, their contract is not to come at you in this way and then learn, learn the lesson and then switch over and now y'all all good. That was not their contract. This is a karmic connection, meaning this person will always have this job in your life. It's up to you to understand that and step away from it. So for some of you, that's what's going on here. It's very difficult for you to let it go. You're very angry here with the Knight of Wands in reverse, or your partner's angry, whoever it is. All right? Very angry about the situation here that your partner left you be. I'm reading for you, so I'm just going to read it like it is. Some of you are very angry and frustrated that your partner separated from you or wants to separate from you. This is past, present, or future energies, okay? Some of you already went through this and got over it with the Four of Cups in reverse. You got past it. Some of you are just going into this situation. You don't realize that you and your partner are about to split up. But things are, have been crazy for you guys in a while. I don't understand how you wouldn't be able to, to notice that. For others of you, you're knee-deep in this shit frustrated angry finding out that your partner is in love with someone else or wants to be with someone else or is vice versa you know this is very difficult to deal with yeah you see with the page of cups here your partner may have had got someone else pregnant um or they may have reached out to someone else to establish a connection here okay yeah, because I have the King of Wands energy here in reverse and the Knight of Wands energy here your partner may have been dealing with someone they worked with Okay, but there's definitely a third party energy here and there was definitely some competition. Okay, um, because I feel like you knew about this person. Some of you knew about this person. Um, some of you were in a relationship with someone who just could not let go. This person just refused to let go. Um, they held on so tight that, you know, this person probably needed to see someone. Um, because some of you were dealing with someone who was very angry, very frustrated. Okay, the Knight of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Wands in reverse, this is someone who is pissed. I mean, this is somebody who would kill. Okay, like seriously. Because their person left them for someone else. Alright, and so as a result, your person, for some of you, your person had a kid. And you're not able to, you're not able to deal with that. You're not able to rock with that at all. That's like straight violation. Straight violation. And um, I feel like for some of you, your person, you lost to, well, I don't want to say it like that. It's like there was another person involved and your person decided to choose that person over you. So this this is like a real big open wound right now. So I'm trying to be as sensitive as possible to your feelings. I definitely understand because I would not want to be in this situation. But what I am doing is I'm going to read the cards. Okay. So, you know. Those of you who rock with me, you know I don't mean no, you know what I'm saying, disrespect, but I keep it 100, and I'm very direct. You know what I'm saying? Um, so this is what I'm seeing here, okay? Um, and this is there's a lot of stress going on about this situation, a lot of stress. So we have the Four of Cups in reverse, the Eight of Coins in reverse, the Knight of Cups, um, the Five of Cups, and the Five of Swords in reverse. So with this four of cups in reverse and the eight of coin reverse, it's like, I feel like for some of you, you're getting over this. Some of you have already been through this shit. You've already been through the, the you know, the, the really crazy fucked up part about it. You've already been through it. And I feel like um, some of you may have somebody coming towards you. Okay. You may have a new person coming towards you. All right. But right now you're still in mourning. Okay. With the five of uh, cups here. You're still in mourning. You have, you're not quite ready to move on. And with the Five of Swords, it's like you're you're letting go of the pain 
uh, of what's going on here. And I think that that is what's helping you to move on. Some of you met someone new. You could have met someone at your work environment here. Because um, in the sixth house, we got Mars and Uranus there. Okay? Um, in your sixth house. So, um, you know, this is about things moving forward. And Uranus is unexpected. So I think like for some of you, there was an unexpected situation here where you may have met someone at work. Or what, if, what happened is your person met someone that they work with. And this is the person that either they may have gotten pregnant by or, or, or have gotten pregnant with um, and decided to uh, leave you for. Or, you know, you went through this with your person. Your person, you know, you and your person are splitting up and um, you may have met someone at work. So it's vice versa. Okay, just switch it how it resonates. But that's the energy that I'm getting with you guys here. Yeah, I feel like there was a baby here because I feel like this page of cups represents it could represent a child um, that he had out of wedlock or she had out of wedlock because the chariot energy represents home. OK, um, and then there's a page of cups here and then the four of wands and the five of wands. So, yeah, I feel like this person had a child with someone else. Plus, on top of that, we got the three of coin here. The Knight of Wands in reverse and the King of Wands in reverse. So this is somebody who sleeps around. So I feel like for some of you, you were dealing with someone. Your partner has been sleeping around on you um, for a while. Um, and I feel like it's been a lot of, it's been more than one person for sure with the Five of Wands energy here. And so I feel like, you know, you may have been in a mindset, well, he ain't, he ain't going nowhere. I don't give a, sh you know, what have you. And, or he could have been, you know, this is Sagittarius man, you know, she's not going nowhere. It don't matter. You know, or you could be on a flip side, you know, you could be the Sagittarius person and you're like, I don't want this person. They, they sleeping around with too many people. You know, they, they, their emotions are all over the place. They cause a lot of drama and havoc. I don't want to reconnect with them. You may have broken up with them and Sag, now you can't get rid of this person. Could have been someone you met at work or someone you, you know, you could have started off as a work thing. Um, and then, you know, things got a little bit more serious because you guys slept together. Um, and then there could have been maybe somebody else who stepped in the picture might have been somebody that you reconnected with from the past. And so you may have decided to want to be with that person. So you left that original person, rejected them, and they couldn't get over it. You may have had a, a child with the person that you rejected and they can't get over it. They want to get back together with you. Some of you were married to this person. Some of you weren't. So that's what I'm getting for you guys. Damn, that's some fiery energy, Sag. You know, my heart goes out to you guys, too. Because that's some, that's some real deep shit to be dealing with. It is. But we all going through it in some way, shape, or form. Separating from karmic partners. Whether they're family members. Whether they're exes. You know. And for a lot of you, I feel like your ex has been cheating on you for a long time. And for some of you, you just refuse to let go of the connection. You know, or, you know, you could be the Sagittarius where he's like, you've let go of the connection, but your person will not. They keep chasing you. They, they can't let it go. But somebody can't let it go. So that's what that Four of Cups um, represented. You know, um, that could also represent somebody who has psychological problems as well. But the Four of Cups came out in reverse, meaning that maybe this energy is dying down now. This person's, you know, who doesn't want to let it go. You know, maybe they're coming to terms with it. Because they don't have a choice. Alright. So that's the tower energy. That's Mars energy. Lovers in reverse. Emperor. King of Cups reverse. One more. Ooh. Judgment. Ten of Cups reverse. I'm going to take them both because they relate. Underneath the deck here we have the three of swords. Yeah man. This is painful. Shit. I wish I could give you a hug right now, Sag. You know, especially if you're the one who's hurting. This is rough. Yeah, so Tower, Major Arcana here, Aries energy. The Lovers came out in reverse. That's Gemini energy. We have the Emperor, Major Arcana, Aries energy. So I feel like there's going to be some type of change once Aries season gets here for you all. We'll see what that is when we go into the extended. We have the King of Cups in reverse energy. This is Scorpionic energy. And then the outcome here is the Ten of Cups reverse, Judgment in reverse. This could be a divorce for some of you. Okay, going through um, a legal separation or divorce. Um, 
Or this could be the Sagittarius who's trying to get away from the person and they realize that, you know, if they're not going through a divorce, it's like I made the wrong decision with this person. I made the wrong decision getting into a relationship with this It's like I feel regret. Like, damn, why did I, you know, why did I even deal with this person type of energy? So this tower energy is, this is energy here where someone was not listening to their intuition. I say that all the time about this tower energy. Somebody was not listening to their intuition. The universe was telling you what was up. Remember I was talking about that universal law versus the 3D law? So for example, somebody um, in a 3D realm, somebody could have been like, okay, well, my partner's cheating on me. They're dealing with other people. But, you know, you ain't going to get my man. I'm not letting him go. <laughs> you know, yeah, I know he stepped out or whatever, you know, blah, blah, blah. But you're not going anywhere. So this could have been, you know, someone saying you're not going anywhere to their partner. Even though their partner was unhappy and showing that they were unhappy because they were cheating constantly. There's no, oh, you know, it slipped up once. No, your person was getting it in. And that was the universe telling you to let the let the relationship go because your person was not happy with you. And it doesn't necessarily mean they were unhappy with you. They could have, it could have been a combination of them not happy with you and them not happy with themselves. Because after all, you were put in their life to teach them a lesson. So they had some lessons to learn. And I believe so did you. Um, for those of you who are trying to keep this connection that, um, you know, the universe is saying, no, you can't keep this. Um, regardless to in the universe, or, you know, regardless to in the 3D realm, if you're married or not, you can't keep this. This is just temporary. Some of you were having a hard time dealing with that. And I think there's some things that, that happened. The camel that, you know, the camel that broke the straw's back. What is it? How do you say that saying? <laughs> anyway, there was something that happened here. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, it was a pregnancy. Okay, your person got someone pregnant or you got pregnant by someone else and your person, you and your person is just like, ah. And I realized it was a third party here because we got the lovers in reverse. Okay, somebody did not make the right choice. So someone didn't want to let go because they were making the wrong choices. They were trying to hold on to a connection that wasn't there. And so um, the emperor energy is here. This is what I'm talking about, control. Someone trying to control the relationship, trying to control their partner. No, you're not going anywhere. I don't care. What's going on? You're not leaving. And a lot of you, um, your partner was financially dependent upon you or you were, you know, financially dependent upon them. And so there, that's where the control came in. I feel like this was the breadwinner here. And you guys were together 10 years, minimum 10 years. All right. So could have been more than that, of course. But I said minimum, right? Wordplay there. Now, where your head is as the king of cups in reverse, like I felt, again, I feel the energy of someone saying, I'm not letting you go. I don't care what no one is saying, and but you're keeping it to yourself. You're not letting people know what's going on. Scorpio energy in reverse is a very manipulative energy. So when we got the king of cups in reverse and the emperor here, there was some manipulation going on in this relationship to keep these two, to keep you two together. Because somebody did not want to let go. Somebody was like, fuck that. You're not going anywhere. I don't give a shit what you do. And it literally, for some of you, it was like that. Because your partner was going ham. Going ham. Sleeping with this one, sleeping with that one. And I think the tower moment was when this person got somebody pregnant. Because your, your partner's been cheating. And you've been new that. You didn't want to let him go. You wasn't letting him go because it was a competition thing at first. You know, and this is what Scorpio energy in reverse is. Very possessive. Uh, very um, uh, emotionally manipulative. Okay? Because this is where your head is at right here. This is what the cards are saying. So if this is not you, then this is your person. Your person was very manipulative. Okay? Your person was very possessive. They could not let go. Okay? So that Scorpio energy, that negative Scorpio energy is a beast. So, you know, this is what was hidden. Because, you know, the Scorpio energy for you is in your 12th house. That's hidden enemies. Hidden, hidden alternatives. Hidden agenda. All right, and we're also dealing with your eighth house here, right? Because where's, uh, let's see, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, Gemini. Gemini is your eighth house. The lovers is ruled by um, Gemini energy. So this is your eighth house here. So secretly, you weren't letting this go. You refused to let it go. This is what was going on here. Or your person refused to let you go. Whichever works. But in the end here, the outcome is, is that there is going to be a separation. Um, there's going to be a divorce here, especially with the emperor and judgment in reverse. 
Um, and with the Three of Swords, this is a lot of pain. It's a lot of heartbreak. There was a third party, definitely, for sure. Oh, man. So we got the Three of Swords, the Devil Energy in Reverse, which is Capricorn Energy, the Hierophant, the High Priestess in Reverse. Yes, yeah, see, somebody was refusing to let go with the High Priestess and the Eight of Cups Reverse. Here it is right here. Somebody was refusing to let go, and this happened numerous times because the Eight of Cups is not somebody just walking away once. It's somebody walking away, coming back, walking away, coming back, walking away, coming back. So some of you may have been the breadwinner, and this is why you were in control of your person. At that time, your person may not have had any financial uh, means to get away from you. And so they may have, you know, I feel like you both, that's why I feel like you both were teaching each other a lesson. Your person could have been dealing with you for money, but wasn't in love because they were out here messing around with other people. And you wanted control over this person because of whatever reason you wanted to control over the relationship with, you know, for, you know, you didn't want to let go. You didn't want to lose is what I'm feeling here. So with the three of swords energy and the devil reverse here, it's like. And then the Hierophant is like letting go of this toxic relationship, letting go of this toxic marriage. Okay? Hierophant, Devil in Reverse, Three of Swords. It was a very toxic connection for both of you. Um, for a lot of you, it was just very strong sexual energy. You guys got married, but it was just sex. And for some of you, the way you met this person through a third party. So your person could have been with someone when you met them. That's, that's what I'm seeing for some of you here, okay? But there was definitely a third-party situation involved in this situation. And there was also, like I said, manipulation. The magician in reverse. Somebody has ill intent, okay? Somebody's scheming right now. Definitely with the three of wands and the magician in reverse. Somebody's scheming. Up to no good. This is why I did a reading for you what, last week talking about the shit's going to hit the fan. Because somebody's up to some bullshit. Somebody's definitely up to some bullshit. Yeah, because we got the, the Ten of Coins here, the Knight of Coins reverse, and the Fool. It's like, nah, um, some of you, your person decided to leave. If the money couldn't keep them. With the, the Ten of Coins, the Knight of Coins reverse, and the Fool energy, the money at one point was keeping them from starting over. And because of the fact that this person couldn't start all over, you know, we have this, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, the Strength in reverse. Yeah, see, they didn't have, they couldn't stand on their own financially, and somebody knew this. So somebody was using money to hold their person, to control their person. But it looks like this, you know, this has been going on for a while here with the Wheel of Fortune and Reverse and the Strength Energy. Been going on for a while. Control. Yep. Yep, because somebody is emotionally un unstable with the Queen of Cups in Reverse. Emotionally unstable, and that's the truth about the matter. With the King of Swords and, the and yeah, see... The actions is this person was acting very cold with the King of Swords and the Queen of uh, Cups in reverse. This person has no feeling. Like, they didn't care. They just wanted to keep their person. And that was it. They didn't give a shit about the person's feelings. It was, a rep it was like, look, you know, you're not going nowhere. I'm not losing to them because that Five of Wands showed up in the last spread. I'm not losing to anybody. I'm not, I'm not you know. I don't care if you want to go nowhere. That's not the point. So it kind of got real crazy like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into the extended and clarify all this. We're going to find out what this tower energy is. Like I said, for some of you, it was a baby. But for others, you could be something else. All right? And there was definitely somebody else in the mix here, especially with the lovers in reverse and the three of, of swords. Many of you were married. Okay, and it was some manipulative energy. So we're going to clarify all of this in the extended. So if this resonated as is, please let me know in the comments. Uh, make sure you click the like button if it did resonate. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell because if this doesn't resonate, don't worry. It's not your story. Um, check your other placements, okay, because you're not just sad. You, you have other placements as well that make up you and have a pertinent role in your everyday life, okay? So I will see you guys in the extended. If not, I will see you in the next reading. All right, peace out, Sag.